Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AFK Arena. Today we are back on the free to play account on the test server and we have brand new patch notes. So let's go ahead, we'll run through the patch notes really quick and see what it is going to be all about. As you can see, patch notes 1.53. So the game servers will be unavailable uh, 1210. So that is actually tomorrow. So the patch is going to be very, very quick on the test server. It brings us Ina, the frozen mother. We've seen a couple pictures, a couple teaser videos about her, but not up as of right now, but that is the hero. We knew it was gonna be a celestial when they were talking about it before. Looking new additions and optimizations. Winter has arrived. Check out the new wintry theme in Ranhorn, the Dark Forest, and the Oak Inn. The game's login screen has also been updated, so very, very cool. Added the new adventure, the Snowy Front. So we're getting a brand new Voyage of Wonder, which is awesome. We just got the Temptatious Twisters, which is coming global very, very soon. So we have another adventure coming on the way. Added the adventure Fallen Souls to the Trials of God. There it is. Players can unlock this adventure by completing 30-60. So you have to be into Chapter 31 to unlock the Fallen Souls. And by completing 100% of the same adventure found within the Wandering Bloom, that will bring us the new Ranger class exclusive artifact called the Shroud of Verdun, Verdun, which can be acquired from the Trials of God. Added the new casual feature to the Peaks of Time called Forest Mania. They are adding a fourth section to the Peaks of Time called Forest Mania, which can be unlocked by comp completing stage 2-3. So they're finally adding and focusing a little bit more on the earlier game with Forest Mania. Very, very cool. Reduce the minimum combat rating requirements for multiple stages within the King's Tower and campaign. A lot of players have been capped by the combat rating, especially with the Thorin Cheese. So this is really addressing it overall. Added four new item slots to the Guild Store. Gear with factional bonus attributes will become available after completing Chapter 23. So you can buy faction gear. Let me repeat, you can buy faction gear. Look at that. And the price will be reduced. The further a player progresses in the campaign, wow, that is going to be a game changer. Right now, we've been very, very reliant on the reset scrolls, which we know has a very, very slim chance of getting the one that you're looking for. But now you can purchase factional bonus gear which is gonna be amazing, that, that is awesome, especially because I need a lot of gear on the pay to win account. Buying gear specifically for the factions that I need is going to be amazing. Going to be refreshing that shop to get the gear. Hopefully it's still 100 diamonds to refresh the shop to go ahead and complete that. The number of amplifying emblems sold the store has been adjusted to 20, another amazing adjustment it has been 10 forever you get 30 primordials you only get 10 amplifying increasing the amount of amplifying is going to be a big game changer because you're adding you're actually doubling every day that you're purchasing them adjusted the rules for dimensional hero discounts using the current overlord 85 percent discount shall no longer affect the discounts of any newer dimensional heroes they've talked a lot about this is if you use this overlord 85 are you going to be able to or are the other heroes gonna be at the same discount? Um, if there are multiple characters during the same IP crossover event, the first character may enjoy an 85% discount. So going forward, it's not gonna be the $50, it's gonna be the $15 that we've seen for Ainz and El Beto, which is very, very cool. Discounting characters I can definitely take. Hero adjustments. This is where it really, really changes. Thane fixed the exclusive furniture ability Swift Death, which is failing to correctly raise the final number of tax. So this is gonna be a big, big increase to Thane's overall damage. Very, very cool with the ability or the furniture swift death. Naru, the Whispering Doom. Well, that's just a hero that nobody uses unless you're earlier game, but optimize the visual effects of the animation. The effects of the ability Soul Reaper now take slightly longer. This is gonna be good when you fight him. Damage from the Death Coil has been reduced. Damage from the ability Life Leech has been reduced. So a big nerf to Nauru. If you guys have fought Nauru in the campaign, very, very tough to kill. Most of the time, if it's one versus three, one versus four, he will still win, which is unfortunate, but definitely going down a little bit on the skills of Nauru. So Thane adjustment, gonna do more damage. 
discounted hero, which is very, very cool. Increasing the amplifying emblems. Still missed the point of a remove all gear button, unfortunately. Couple of new changes, big changes, added four new faction. You're gonna be able to get faction gear in the guild store. That is, that is awesome. Forest Mania, cannot wait to see that. Of course, the Ranger Artifact, which is the fifth and final class exclusive artifact that they're coming out with, as well as the Snowy Front, and of course, the new hero, Aina. I think it's A-L-N-A, -A. Alna, maybe it's Alna, because we have Ira, and I don't want to say Ira, Aina, or Alra, Alna, not sure, but let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Patch notes 1.53 coming up very, very soon which will bring us an ability to buy faction gear. And as you get further in the campaign, the gear is going to get cheaper. So absolutely amazing with the update. New Ranger artifact coming as well, which would be very, very cool to see. Hopefully it's not like the Tide Bear where it's very situational or the Barricade where most players don't use it. But again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.